I've been running these XDM 9 inch LED spotties for close to six months now. So in today's video, I'm gonna let you know my thoughts on them and if I buy them again. What's up guys, if you're planning on getting a set of budget LED spotties, chances are you've been considering a set of these from BCF. When choosing these, I knew I didn't have the budget to get the best of the best, so I was trying to find something that sat in that sweet spot of being decent enough quality, while also being relatively cost effective. So these will set you back $160, and for that you really only get the spotlights and the mounts. The box says that they come with a plug and play wiring harness, but in actual fact that only includes about 15 centimeters or so of wiring, per spotlight, so you might have to factor in the cost of a wiring kit too, so just keep that in mind. I originally had a set of powerful HRD spotties on this car when I bought it, but they must have had a hard life because they literally fell apart on me out on the track, and after sticking them back together two or three times, I just decided enough was enough, time to retire them off and upgrade to a set of these. But I was able to reuse that same wiring when I got these, so if you're upgrading your existing spotlights, you might be able to get away with reusing that same wiring, provided it's decent enough and matches the specs of these, and that might save you a little bit of time. I've been pretty impressed by the build quality of these. The cast aluminium construction feels nice and durable, they seem pretty sturdy, and they come with XDM branded covers pre-installed, which is a nice touch. They've got an IP67 weatherproof rating, which is pretty much what you'd expect for anything that's going to be sitting on your bull bar, out in the open, exposed to all the elements. If you don't know what IP ratings mean, you're definitely not alone. Basically, IP stands for ingress protection, and the first number refers to how well the object can keep solids out. So a rating of six makes these dustproof. The second number refers to its water resistance, and you'll find most spotlights either have an IP67 rating or an IP68 rating. As I mentioned, these are IP67, which means they're completely fine to get wet, and you could even theoretically submerge them by one meter for up to half an hour. So that might seem like overkill, but when you think about river crossings, it's not uncommon for the water level to be up somewhere around the bonnet, and at that point, your spotties are well and truly submerged. Not only that, but you're actually moving through the water, putting even more pressure on those seals. So with that in mind, an IP67 rating is pretty much the minimum I would expect from a set of spotlights, and if you're the type of person who regularly goes through deep water crossings, I'd probably consider something with an IP68 rating if I was you. Okay, let's talk about brightness. So there's a few different ways to measure brightness, and XDM measures the brightness of these in lumens. These put out a whopping 9,000 lumens per light, or 18,000 for the set. I don't blame you if those numbers are pretty meaningless, so to try and put that in perspective a little bit, a standard set of car headlights puts out 1,200 to 1,400 lumens on low beam, and 2,000 to 2,500 on high beam. So if that's what you're coming from, you can imagine just how much of a difference 18,000 lumens would make. But they're just numbers, so let's wait for this sun to go down, and I'll show you just how bright they really are. So driving down a typical country road, this is my standard view using just the headlights. Now I'll flick the factory high beam on, which does improve things a little bit, I know the camera doesn't pick it up that well, but having hit kangaroos before, I'd say this amount of visibility is still unsafe. Finally, here's the XDMs, and you can see straight away that we can see a hell of a lot more. For LEDs, they do okay distance wise, but as you can see where they really shine is in lighting up the edges of the roads, which is something that you definitely won't get from standard halogen or HRD spotties. So whether or not LED spotties are the right choice for you is really going to come down to your personal preference. As you saw, they do okay for long range, but they're no contest for a powerful set of regular spotties or HIDs. Personally, I've had pretty much every combination of spotlight and light bar you can think of, and I still think the best combination is a powerful set of regular spotlights for distance combined with a light bar for spread. So you're really getting the best of both worlds. For the Ranger, I really wanted to try and keep things simple, and I was curious to see if LEDs could cut it when it comes to being the one and only set of additional lights on the car. And so far, they've been performing pretty well in a whole range of situations. One thing worth mentioning is that if you do a lot of long distance night driving, LEDs can get quite fatiguing on your eyes after a while, so you might want to look at getting a set of regular spotties or HIDs, and maybe adding on a light bar that you can kind of toggle on and off with a switch. Just something to think about. 
Anyway guys, that's all I can think of for now. If you know you want LED spotties, these are a pretty good bang for buck. But as to whether or not LEDs are the right choice for you, it's just something you're gonna have to work out for yourself. As always, cheers for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.